Imagine a tunnel so large you could drive a three-story building through it. Picture it snaking silently beneath California's fertile farmland and bustling freeways, all while carrying enough water to fill an Olympic pool every 15 seconds. That's not science fiction, it's the Delta Conveyance Project, California's ambitious $20 billion plan to ensure water security for millions in the face of climate change and chronic drought. This gigantic underground river, officially a single 72 kilometer long tunnel, is among the most significant infrastructure projects the state has ever undertaken. But why build such a massive water tunnel now? And how does it actually work? Let's take a journey into the heart of one of California's most daring engineering missions. The North-South Water Dilemma. California's geography presents a persistent water paradox. The northern regions of the state receive the bulk of rainfall and snowmelt, while the southern half, where most of the state's population and agricultural production are located, remains relatively dry. This imbalance has driven engineers and policymakers for over eight decades to find effective ways to move water from the resource-rich north to the thirsty south. Efforts to address this divide date back to the 1940s, giving rise to landmark projects like the Central Valley Project, Federal, and the State Water Project, State Run, which continue to serve as lifelines for cities and farms. By the 1960s, California was eyeing even bolder solutions, including a massive open channel known as the Peripheral Canal, which was designed to bypass the sensitive Sacramento-San Joaquin River Delta. Although that version never materialized, its core concept evolved over decades, rebranded under various names such as the Bay Delta Conservation Plan, California Water Fix, and now the Delta Conveyance Project. Each iteration attempted to address the same core challenge, how to transport water efficiently while preserving the fragile Delta ecosystem, a tunnel unlike any other. Today's plan is both a technical and environmental refinement of earlier proposals. The Delta Conveyance Project is not a sprawling network of canals and reservoirs, but a single high-capacity underground tunnel designed to protect water water delivery from the increasing risks of climate change, sea level rise, and seismic activity. At the heart of the system will be two intake facilities located in the northern delta near the small towns of Hood and Cortland. These intakes won't just be holes in a riverbank, they will each stretch around 1.6 kilometers long and be designed with cutting edge fish protection systems, with the combined capacity to draw 170 cubic meters of water per second. These intakes can theoretically fill an Olympic swimming pool in just over 15 seconds. To protect aquatic life, particularly endangered species like salmon and delta smelt, the intakes will feature cylindrical fish screens with ultra-fine openings. These screens, about 8.8 .8 meters long and 2.4 meters in diameter, rotate and self-clean using motorized brushes to prevent biofouling from algae or shellfish. The water flow into these screens is purposefully kept slow to reduce harm to fish. Additionally, the intake structures are engineered to endure a 200-year flood event and accommodate more than three meters of sea level rise, ensuring resilience against extreme weather and long-term climate threats. A giant tunnel beneath California. Once water is captured at the intakes, it flows into the main underground tunnel. Running approximately 72 kilometers, the tunnel will follow a path roughly parallel to Interstate 5, a major north-south artery in the state. With an internal diameter of about 11 meters, wider than a two-lane highway, this tunnel will be buried 30 to 40 meters underground. That depth allows it to pass safely beneath homes, farmlands, and existing infrastructure without disturbing daily life above. Its structure will consist of interlocking concrete segments nearly half a meter thick sealed with gaskets to create a watertight and earthquake resistant pipeline. This is especially critical in earthquake prone California, where experts estimate a 72% chance of a magnitude 6.7 or higher quake in the Bay Area by 2043. The tunnel's deep location and robust design will shield it from such seismic disruptions. Drilling the underground river. Constructing a tunnel of this magnitude requires some of the most advanced equipment in the world, tunnel boring machines. These these behemoths, often described as giant mechanical worms, are capable of chewing through rock and soil while simultaneously building the tunnel behind them. For the Delta project, engineers are expected to use earth pressure balanced tunnel boring machines, which maintain even pressure at the cutting face to avoid ground collapse. As they dig, they cool their cutter heads with water and foam, breaking up earth which is then transported via screw 
conveyors and belts to the surface. As the tunnel boring machines advances, it installs 1.8 meter wide rings made from precast concrete segments creating a secure tunnel lining. To accelerate the project, four to six tunnel boring machines may operate concurrently, each working on different segments. Boring each section could take between three to seven years. The excavated material, mostly sand, gravel, and soil, won't go to waste. This reusable tunnel material can be repurposed for levee repair, habitat restoration, and other regional projects. One of the key benefits of tunneling so deeply is that it significantly reduces noise and vibration felt on the surface, minimizing disturbance to local communities. The pumping heart and the bigger network. Once water has made its subterranean journey southward, it will arrive at a new pumping station near the Bethany Reservoir. This reservoir is a pivotal point in California's existing state water project, acting as a launch pad for the California Aqueduct, a system of canals and pipelines that transports water across the state. By linking directly into this existing network, the new system avoids the need for additional surface infrastructure, enabling seamless integration with California's broader water delivery framework. Adapting to a changing climate. One of the primary motivations behind the Delta Conveyance project is climate adaptation. California's weather patterns are becoming more erratic, with longer, harsher droughts punctuated by intense storm events. The tunnel is designed to capture surges of runoff during big storms, when water is plentiful, and store it for drier times. Take January 2023 as an example. A single massive storm brought enough rain that had the Delta Tunnel been operational, it could have captured water to supply 3.3 million households for a year. This kind of capability could prove invaluable as the state grapples with worsening drought conditions and growing water demand, economic footprint, and environmental concerns. The construction phase is expected to take around 14 years, with over 5,000 construction jobs created at its peak. However, such a massive undertaking also means over 200,000 heavy truck trips on California highways, bringing in materials and machinery, an inevitable source of local disruption. To mitigate these impacts, project planners have adjusted routes, moved power lines, underground and redesigned plans to avoid sensitive delta habitats and reduce noisy construction methods like pile driving. Yet despite these efforts, the project remains controversial. Critics argue the projected cost, officially around $20 billion, with some estimates exceeding $120 billion, is far too high, especially for a system that might not deliver proportionate increases in water supply. They cite past infrastructure fiascos like Boston's Big Dig and the Channel Tunnel, both of which suffered massive cost over runs as cautionary tales. Furthermore, environmental and tribal groups have mounted legal challenges concerned about potential ecological damage to the already vulnerable Delta. These concerns remain unresolved, even as Governor Gavin Newsom pushes to fast-track the project, streamline permitting, and reduce legal delays. He has called the tunnel critical to California's climate resilience strategy, emphasizing its role in securing a stable water future. The Future of California's Water Whether celebrated as a triumph of modern engineering or criticized as an overly expensive gamble, the Delta Conveyance Project is a bold step towards solving California's long-standing water woes. Its success or failure will likely shape how the state, already the world's fifth largest economy, manages water amid escalating climate pressures. For millions of Californians, especially in the South, the tunnel could become a vital lifeline, ensuring that taps keep flowing and farms keep growing even as nature becomes less predictable. The next 14 years will determine whether this subterranean river becomes California's savior, or simply another symbol of grand ambition colliding with practical and environmental reality. And thanks for watching! If you found this deep dive into California's massive underground water tunnel fascinating, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Until then, stay curious and stay tuned!